watched a, a short clip on the simulation experience and what I really liked about it is that it was a way for students to understand poverty without just sitting and listening to a lecture. This was an experience where they actually became part of a fictional family and they had to deal with whatever their income is, what they're, whether they're employed or not employed, and they rotate through all of these different uh, stations. So I came into the day I was handed um, a female's name, and so that was, took me off guard. And when I went to look for my family, it was just a baby. So for me, that was really hard to think, how am I going to simulate being a single mother? But at the same time, it was good to put myself through that because it maybe helped understand what a single mother might have to go through with no family support. I felt really stressed because uh, members of my family by the last week um, were giving up. And I felt like I was taking on more responsibilities while also caring for my infant child. As a nurse midwife student, it really struck me the amount of stress that I felt in an hour's time and how that would impact my health. Although it's not real, obviously, it still puts them in a role of what it would be like to be on limited income with kids having to deal with uh, unexpected events that occur. There's, there's a lot of extra added things that we had to be very flexible with. And it was interesting having to go from work to go pick up the child to take them to the hospital, which then a natural disaster hit, and then we had to leave to go home until it cleared. And so just being able to figure out how to get all of that situated was really interesting. So I know firsthand what it's like to be poor. I understand that. And I understand the importance of, of other healthcare providers understanding that when they're dealing with the families here in New Mexico. Participating in this simulation uh, definitely put things into perspective and um, helped me realize for even just a brief moment the um, innate stress and struggles that someone living in poverty faces. But for me it was a good experience. It reminded me of what it's like to live in that world. Workshops like these need to continue to happen. Um, it's things like this that help everybody um, learn more and to take that into their future clinical experience.